hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing good so today i'm going to be creating this wig on my head it's a headband wig i'm going to be using this weave from darling hair nigeria um if you like what you see then stay tuned so you can learn how to create this wig okay <laughs> This wave is from Darling Hair Nigeria from their Empress collection. It's called the Brazilian Wave. It comes with three bundles in the pack and these bundles are actually really full because for this video I used about two bundles and some chains. This is what it feels like. It actually feels really, really good. I was pretty surprised. So for this video, I'm going to be using a, a wig cap i was about to say headband well i'm going to use a headband as well but a wig cap a headband you want to make sure that the headband you're using is quite stretchy so it doesn't hurt when you wear your wig and um i'm also going to be using my trusty door head <laughs> so let's get into it so i'm just fitting my wig cap onto my door head now just kind of get a sense of where i want it to be and i'm going to be putting my headband on my wig cap because i'm going to be sewing that on in a few moments which you're going to see so i saw some videos where people um did the headband after making the weave but i decided to sew on the headband first just so i could know what space i was working with so you could do it in that way it doesn't really matter so i'm just going to cut the thread and do an extra knot just to make sure it's super tight and secure right there i don't you know want to hear had i known <laughs> so i'm just going to cut off the extra thread and then let's get into making this wig so this is the first bundle i'm going to be using i'm just going to unwrap that real quick and then you know unwrap it completely it comes folded so you want to make sure that you unwrap everything so you have one clean line of weave to work with okay so i'm just kind of like getting a sense of where i want my headband to be and now i'm just going to put a pin into the beginning of the weft of the weave and then secure it into my door head and over the wig caps so now i'm just going to take the weave across to the other side and secure it with a pin then we're going to start sewing the weave in just keep sewing take your time this took me about two hours or three to create so just take your time so i usually don't like to cut my weave but for this particular um, wig i decided to cut it because i know i'm not going to use this weave again and i'm probably going to keep this as a wig for a long time so i'm just going to do the same thing again the second weft of uh the weave across the other side sorry for standing in front of you guys or rather walking in front of you guys so just secure that with a pin right now um you don't need to leave you don't need the weaves to be close to what, what am i saying you don't need tracks to be close to each other because this is the back of the weave so it doesn't necessarily have to be full because the fuller part which is like the middle and the top is going to cover this back part anyway so you can save your weave and uh, use more of it in front you see what i mean in a few minutes when i get to the end i like to leave some extra thread and do um, an additional knot just to make sure that the weave is not going to move okay <laughs> okay so we're just going to repeat the process for about two more tracks or three till we get to the middle of the hair all right, so we're going to do the exact same step again and i'm i slowed this down so you guys can see how i'm doing it and what i'm doing just gently take the weave all the way across the doll head over the wig cap and secure it nicely on the other side yep and then now you can start pulling down the weave just trying to like get the tracks closer to each other and then you just sew and keep sewing and sewing and sewing I advise that when you're making this wig it's best to have about three needles that are already threaded right down so you don't have to keep going back to thread the needle going back to thread the needle it just helps you make the whole process easier so as you're going to be making the weave you want to start putting the uh tracks closer to each other just if you want a super full wig but if you don't you could just continue with the um spacing you were doing before now we're at the top of the weave and i'm going to show you guys exactly what i'm doing in a few minutes i just needed to get this first one right basically what i did was i went from using the u pattern of making a weave to using the straight pattern just fit it nicely on top of the wig cap like i'm doing and most wig caps come with this part of the wig cap already segmented so it makes this process even easier so once you fitted it make sure you double the weave just because i wanted a fuller um front of my wig that's why i did 
that the doubling if you don't feel like doubling your track then you can just leave it as it is but i would advise that you double your tracks towards the front of the wig towards the front of the wig and then i'm just going to use a pin to secure it so that it doesn't move it's kind of hard to control two tracks at the same time So we get to sewing and sewing and sewing and sewing. <laughs> I did a lot of sewing in this video. I mean, there is a wig video, but yeah. So you just do that again. Again, I used double tracks just because I really wanted the front of my hair. Just because I really wanted the front of my wig to be super full or full enough, basically. And then just sew on. So <laughs> I know it's a lot of sewing, you guys. Just. Pick a day when you don't have nothing else to do to make this wig. And then for the very last track, I used a single track. I didn't double this one just because it's the very last track and I wanted it to be very, very clean and so in. So now I'm sewing on that last track, avoiding the, wig, the headband itself because you don't want to sew the track onto the headband. You want to sew it onto the wig cap. Be very careful when you're doing last, this last one. Take your time. And just get it right. So only the weave and the wig cap. Don't pick the headband. Okay. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Our final product. Uh, do a spin, girl. Do a spin. <laughs> All right. So we don't want the thread to show. So what we're going to do is just pick the wig, the headband, and pull it back just a bit, just like that. And you've covered up all of that. And you can even use a scarf over this headband wig. I'll show you that in a few minutes. So this is me about to wear my wig cap. I used both the strap from the wig cap and the headband as support for the back part of my wig. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just fitting into my head right now. And yes, look at me. <laughs> I love this wig so much you guys I'm obsessed and it's so easy to like wear you don't need to like lay your baby hairs or nothing like that just literally just put it on your head and you're good to go I absolutely love this wig and I think I'm going to be making more of these because they're very very convenient like maybe one that's straight a body wave one I don't know anyway so now I'm about to use a scarf over it just to see what it looks like and BAM Ooh! <laughs> you guys i was feeling myself as you can tell i was feeling so pretty you guys anyway thank you so much for watching you guys if you like this video and if you learned something new then please subscribe to my channel help me grow share this video leave me a thumbs up thank you so much for watching you can also follow me on instagram i do tutorials there as well the link to my instagram will be down below in the description box thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys i hope you like this video thank you <laughs> bye Mwah!